Today I'll show you how to add drop caps in your WordPress post. Drop caps are a great way to start a paragraph. They simply help capture your reader's attention to get them interested in your content. And it's a simple styling technique that was usually used in print books or magazines that would feature longer reads. Normally the large capital letter extends down to drop below the first few lines, which is why it's called a drop cap. And I'll show you two different methods. The first one, you will be using drop cap in WordPress blocks editor or the Gutenberg block editor. And the second one, if you're still on the classic editor, then I'll show you how you can do it with that as well. Now to get started, you want to head over to your WordPress dashboard and you want to go to all posts. You can either start with a new post or you can edit a, an old one if you want to. For this one, I'll just add some content and we want to set the first letter in this sentence to be the drop cap. So when you click on the area, you'll see that we already are a paragraph. You could change that here, but since this is the paragraph, this is what we want. And you want to come over to your block area over to the right. If you don't see it, then you might want to click on your settings area. Make sure you're under block, make sure you're under paragraph. And from here, you see a text setting called drop cap. We can set that here and now it will show a drop cap for that first letter. From here, you can also set the color and that will change the whole paragraph. So if you want to just set the color for that drop cap, then you'll want to do a little bit of advanced custom CSS that you can add here. Otherwise, that's all you need to do for Gutenberg. Simply publish your content and then you can see it in action. And that looks pretty good. Now, if you don't want to add custom CSS to do this, you can consider installing a plugin called the initial letter plugin. And that will also be what I use to show you how to create a drop cap for the classic editor. With the classic editor, I'll need to add a plugin. So let's head over to plugins, go to add new. And from here, we want to search for initial letter. And the initial letter works for classic, but it'll also work for if you want to style your drop cap a little bit more than what the Gutenberg block editor allows you to do. Let's go ahead and install it and stick around to activate the plugin as well. Great, once it's activated, we'll head over to setting and look for initial letter. This is where we can make our changes. From here, you can say if you want it to be default for all posts, you can do the different fonts, sizes, padding, vertical alignment, and the color. This is where you can change the color for that drop cap. I'm gonna select this just to show you what it will look like. Now we can go to our post that we were working on and change it in the classic editor. So scrolling down, we'll have an area that says initial letter. We want to say yes. And now when we update this and refresh it, you see that there is now a colored drop cap letter for you. And then as you write more and more content on your website, you wanna see how that content is working. One of the best ways that you can do that is by installing something like Monster Insights. With Monster Insights, you can easily connect your Google Analytics account to your WordPress dashboard, and then you can see how your website is doing right from the dashboard. For instance, this is the overview report. It tells me how many users have been on my site in the last 20, 30 days, how many page views. You can scroll down, you can see the sessions average session duration, the bounce rate, so how many people are bouncing off of my site. You can also see top countries, top referrals, and so much more. To get started, you just wanna head over to monsterinsights.com and make sure you use promo code WPBVIP and you'll get the best discount. And you can watch this video next as I walk you through step-by-step -step on just how to install and set up Monster Insights with your WordPress dashboard. And I'll see you over there.